What's heavier, the humongous fungus or pando, the quaking aspen? That depends on if you include water when weighing these giant organisms. If you do, the fungus weighs most. But foresters, at least, care only about the mass actually produced during growth, the dry mass. And since fungi are mostly water, pando wins. Either way, it's likely that some of the below-ground connections, whether roots or mycelia, have become severed over time, meaning these giants are probably comprised of smaller but still ginormous and genetically identical patches.